what's up guys we're going to be going over some tips and tricks for the Xiaomi Mi 9T uh, so if you're new to the uh, my UI uh, this was very helpful uh, for me uh, you know looking at all these tips up and I want to share the most important ones with you alright so the first one is to change the camera sound effects for the pop-up camera so if you go to settings additional settings and we go to uh, front camera effects you can see we have a bunch of different sounds so I'm gonna turn this up that's the one sound I really like to keep it on the robot sound that's kind of a cool one kind of enchanted one uh, this is another really cool one kind of the robot one and this one's not bad either it's like a gear wheel so let's just put it on the gear wheel for right now now when I'm in the camera all I have to do is uh, bring up the front facing camera and boom we get a new sound effect very very cool alright so the next one is to change the fingerprint scanner animation so we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to lock screen and password and this time we're gonna go to manage fingerprints just go ahead and put your password in and we're gonna have fingerprint animation right here so you can see it's black right now I have it on the pulse and here are all the ones you can choose from rhythm you have the neon one which is pretty cool and then you have the starlight so I'm gonna change it to the uh, neon real quick and if I go ahead and shut it down you can see I get the neon effect now the next one is ambient display this will uh, take up more battery so beware of that so we're going back into settings display and we're just gonna turn on ambient display uh, you can also schedule the times on when you want to turn it on but um, you know you're gonna have to make that call so when you turn it off as you can see or I'm sorry when you tap on the screen as you can see you get the time in the battery life and if I had notifications you would see that as well uh, the notification LED will pop up on top if you uh, have notifications but if you want to see them on the display uh, that is there and uh, it's pretty cool but like I said it will uh, you know kill the battery a little bit more now the next tip is back in the display in settings and we're gonna turn on dark mode dark mode is pretty awesome uh, so if you're using your phone at night or you just woke up you gotta mess with these settings uh, having this on is really awesome I usually prefer to have dark mode on it uh, just looks better uh, it's now just coming to iOS 13 so it's already in a lot of Android phones and uh, it's just very awesome as you can see everything's uh, more easier on the eyes and it actually takes up less battery when you have the dark mode on uh, which a lot of people don't know when you have an uh, you know, AMOLED display now the next tip is in the camera so they the camera has a triple lens setup so if you uh instead of just tapping right here to get to the cameras uh, you can just simply pinch the zoom so you can see are we on the wider one and we just zoom to move so we're in telephoto the standard camera so that's a pretty nice little one instead of having to tap you have gestures to access them easily i really like that one Alright guys, another tip is in the camera. So when you're on the standard photos and you're just taking photos, if you want to get the most out of this camera, uh, you're definitely going to want to click on the 48 megapixels. So this is going to take it in full crispiness. Uh, it's not going to be uh, sort of in a lower resolution like on the photos. So when you're on the standard photos, it'll take a lower res photo and uh, you just get the most out of your camera when you're on uh, 48 megapixels so it's nice that Xiaomi put that in here now the next one is in the phone app so if you hit the little menus button and you go to car recording you can actually uh, record calls automatically uh, when they pop up so for you guys that uh, need those you can also select uh, specific numbers uh, record unknown numbers and you can make your own numbers uh, but I don't really have a need for that uh, but that is on there if you want to have that now this phone does come with second space and this is the next tip is the app lock so instead of using uh, second space I actually just like to lock certain applications up uh, so let's see first trade just simple uh, you know sensitive applications so a stock investing app if you want to make that very secure you would just set a password and I would just set up a little dot so I'm just go ahead and set something up like that draw the pattern again go to next and then you uh, you can sign in and with your uh, 
my account but if I don't want to do that now I can go ahead and turn that on so w once I go to the first trade it'll go ahead and ask me for the uh, password uh, to enter the application and so now I'm in it so I really like that one instead of making a uh, you know a second space alright so the next tip is the full screen display uh, so this is a little controversial for Android users uh, Android is looking to really get way of, get a, away from the navigation buttons and as you can see uh, you can go to the full screen gestures and you pretty much have to swipe up uh, it, the you know the plus with this is that you get a you know a full screen display you get you know to see all of the uh, app um, but you know I'm just not crazy about the gestures uh, so you go back if you want to go back or if you're trying to go forward in the browser you would uh, do that gesture uh, but yeah I'm not you know I'm not just not sure how I feel about it I just don't like the gestures like that but you do get to see more of the display and uh, you just have to you know kind of make that call uh, so you know it is what it is so thanks for watching those were my favorite tips uh, for the Xiaomi 9T uh, what are some of you guys favorite tips be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any and I will catch you guys in the next one